Hello scientists, my name's John. Welcome to my Ensonglopedia of Science. Now I'm going to be singing you some songs in a bit, but first of all, perhaps you're thinking, what do you mean, hello scientists, I'm not a scientist? Well, guess what? Yes, you are. And how do I know you are? Well, this is my daughter Thalia. She is five months old, and she's a scientist. And so were you when you were five months old, and so was I. You see, science is about asking questions about how the world works, having an idea of what the answer might be, and then performing experiments to see if you're right. And a few months ago, that's exactly what Thalia started doing. She started figuring out some anatomy, that her hands belong to her, and then some causality, that by reaching out and touching things, she could make them move. And she's also started to figure out how time works, that night follows day, and hopefully, pretty soon, she might even figure out that the night time is for sleeping. That would be nice, wouldn't it, Thalia? Tell you what, Thalia, do you want to show them your magic trick? This is my Ensonglopedia. I'm going to be singing a song about science for each letter of the alphabet. And just to make it a bit more difficult for myself, I'm going to be singing each one either in a style of music or on an instrument, starting with the same letter of the alphabet. And for the letter A, that genre of music is a cappella, which means I'm going to be singing without using any instruments. And I thought I'd do it dressed as an astronaut. Atom, from the Greek words a, meaning not, and temnein to cut, because it was thought that atoms were unbreakable and utterly unshakable. No part of them was takeable, their oneness unmistakable. But now we know they're breakable, and we do it quite a lot. An astronaut has trillions of trillions of atoms And that's just in a single strand of armpit hair So hold on to your noses and let us see what happens If we take a trip in there A-T-O-M Impossible to count cause there's so many of them A-T-O-M-I-C So small that they are totally impossible to see so let's dive down to the depths of the atom. It's a world so wild that it's difficult to fathom. The tiny things whizzing round the outside are electrons, five or six femtometers wide. A simple fact that you've got to embrace is that most of an atom is empty space. If an atom was as big as Westminster Cathedral, the nucleus would be a baby bee busy buzzing in the middle. A T O M Impossible to count cause there's so many of them A T O M I C So small that they are totally impossible to see Now back to the B That B is made of hadrons which are protons Or neutrons which are held together With the help of gluons Now we're getting quite advanced for the brightest sparks But hadrons actually consist of quarks And of what sort of things do those quarks comprise? Well if you can tell us that you can tell us that you win the Nobel Prize. A T O M. Even air is literally swarming with them. A T O M G. I can't believe that there are also many, many trillions of trillions of those things in me. So, atoms are made of hadrons, which are made of quarks, which are made of, uh, well, we don't know. But where do the atoms come from? Well, well, we don't know that either. Oh, but we're pretty sure that they first turned up something like 380,000 years after the Big Bang, which conveniently starts with the letter B. Now, for my second song, I'm going to do it accompanied by some beatboxing, which my friend Mal in Australia has said he'll help us out with. Hi, Mal. G'day, John. How are you doing? Yeah, grouse one. Are you ready to help us out with this song, then? Yep, ready when you are. Big bang, little bang, somewhere in the middle bang. Big bang, little bang, somewhere in the middle bang. Big bang, little bang, I'm gonna look at three bangs of different sizes and then i'm gonna look at why each one arises bang one was one hell of a bang it was the biggest ever bang that was caused by man it was the detonation in 1961 of the 57 megaton czar bomb Dang, what a bang! Bones shook, ears rang. The island of Severny was a bad place to hang on October 30th when that thermonuclear warhead blew. Man, it was big, but not as big as Bang 2. 
Bang 2 was back in 2013 and was the biggest bang of any sort that man had ever seen. It was a gamma ray burst, the explosion of a star 3.7 billion light years away. Well, far. Dang, what a bang of such colossal size that a similar one much closer would lead to our demise. It was spotted by the Fermi Space Observatory. Man, it was big, but not as big as Bang 3. Bang 3 was the mother of a bang. It was the bang in which time and space themselves began. A little under 14 billion years BC, the bang occurred that kickstarted reality. Dang, what a bang, and what's more, it's still going, and the radiation from its early stages is still glowing, though it started out infinitesimally small. Man, it was big, it was the biggest bang of all. Big bang, little bang, somewhere in the middle bang. Big bang, little bang. And so I've looked at three bangs of different sizes. And now I'm gonna look at why each one arises. Bang one, the star bomb was a test run for. An even bigger bomb developed in the Cold War. Luckily, the war ended before it was deployed and before a major city could be destroyed. Bang two, the gamma ray burst occurred when lots of high energy photons were dispersed from the site of a gigantic supernova, which meant that the life of a very big star was over. Bang three, the big bang, how did that one come about? Well, the fact is we just don't know, and I doubt that there'll ever be an answer to which we all agree. That's A and B dealt with, now on we go with C. Thanks, Mal. Now we're going to meet a future version of myself. Hello, future me. Hello, me in the past. I'm here at the Centre for Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine at King's College London. Because C stands for... Cell. From the Latin word cella, meaning, well, cellar. Like the room in your house where you store all your wine. And no matter whether you're a girl or a fella, your cells look a lot like mine. <laughs> now start to swing those cells in your hips so that you can join me in the cell calypso. You got to move every cell in your feet. I want to see your cells are jiggling from across the street. So when I see you shaking your body, it's like your cells are having some kind of party. Every cell is designed for a particular task. Your muscle cell do what your brain cell ask. Oh yes! Your body's always redesigning in lots of ways. You'll get a new stomach lining in just four days and a new set of lungs every six-ish weeks. <gasps> every month you'll get a brand new layer of skin on your cheeks. Your cells duplicate. When they get worn, you are not the same person as when you were born. Oh, no. You ought to know that deep inside of your cells, are little blobby things they call organelles. These organelles, they do all the hard labor that gives all the cells their distinctive behavior. They make proteins and help the cells duplicate. If you didn't have cells, you'd be in the right state, oh no. Now it's time to do the Insomnipedia Conga. Na 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 na, hey, na 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 na, hey. I promise you that nothing can possibly go wrong. Na 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 na, na hey, na 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 na, hey. It shows you how the cells work together to be stronger. Na 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 na, hey, na 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 na, hey. But now we've reached the end of this most peculiar song. Na 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 na, hey, na 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 na, hey. Which means that we can't. Do the conga any longer. I'm gonna delve deeper into the human cell Through the nuclear membrane The protective shell in which 46 molecules have set up home They're made of DNA and they're the chromosomes They're made of DNA Deoxyribonucleic acid 
DNA is the set of instructions that gives the directions for how the cell functions. It's the code so the organism knows how to grow. Where the feathers feature, whether you're adapted for the snow. It was DNA placed those eight features on your face. Drop, drop, drop. The nucleo base. <laughs> A cell divides, it first makes a copy of the DNA But cell division can be sloppy and new DNA may have tiny mistakes I know what affects a mistake, sometimes makes mistakes can cause Diseases like cancer, but changes also mean there's a chance Mutation creating health and adaptation That's evolution, but it takes a lot of patience Generations upon generations And it's all thanks to DNA Deoxyribonucleic acid Acid and now that we know how the code fits together, we can set to work and make unhealthy organisms better. DNA is the key to the needs of the species. Diseases can cease if we replace the right pieces. Splice that code, cut it up, rip it, flip it, drop it in a new place. With my programmable endonuclease, but only under supervision of a highly regulated lab base. Drop the nucleo base. Adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine. These are the bases, these are the jigsaw pieces that make up each gene, which fit together to help my body part slot neatly into place. This double helix rises like a phoenix to continue the race. Drop the nucleo base. In this episode of Encyclopedia of Science, A stood for atom, B for bang, C for cell, and D for DNA. Thanks for watching and keep asking those questions. And if you feel like putting any of the questions into a song, then I'll do my best to answer them in song. Oh, there's someone else here who'd like to say goodbye to you. Say goodbye, Thalia. Say goodbye. She says goodbye.